Today, around 594,000 test takers all across the nation set for the CSATs, or Sunung as it is known here in Korea. Let's connect to our Yoon Jung-min, who is at one of the many test sites. Jung-min, something they've been preparing for years, pouring everything they've got leading up to this day. What do you have for us at this point? Uh, yes, Daniel. Uh, currently, I am standing in front of Seoul High School, one of the hundreds of test sites where today's Sunung took place. The students have just finished their exams. Today, 600,000 students, mostly high school seniors, uh, took their scholast, college scholastic ability tests, or CSAT, at 1,190 test sites nationwide. The, the exams begin at 8.40 a.m. and finish some 20 minutes ago. Some of the students looked relieved that it's over, some rather calm, and some exhausted. The students' families and juniors have flocked to the test site to support the test takers. The Education Ministry said that this year's test was focused on basic and key elements in the high school curriculum. These exams are so important as students spend years studying for them, and the results determine which universities they will go to next year. Many Koreans believe a college shapes a student's future, so lots of students study around the clock to get into the best college possible. So it's no wonder that the whole country gets behind the test takers. Today, public sector workers and many in the private sector started work an hour later than usual to reduce the morning traffic jams for the test takers. The country's stock markets also opened and closed an hour later than normal. More subway trains and buses were in operation and police officers were on hand to rush students to test centers if they were late. From 1 p.m., even flights were put on hold for about 30 minutes during the English Latin Comprehension section to minimize disturbance. Now the exams are all over and the students can finally relax before they prepare their college applications and wait for the results which will be announced in the first week of December. Well, that's all I have for now, but I'll bring more updates for our next newscast at 8, 8 p.m. Back to you, Daniel.